What is up guys, S Gaming God here, legendary Moss Hunter of Yukumo Village. Here we are with part 22 of Let's Play Image Portable 3rd. I'm back with my longsword and the reason is because today we're going to be fighting a Baroth, a new monster, which is actually uh, somewhat tough, and I just will not be able to use the hammer for it, so I decided to get back with my longsword. And before that, I was doing a couple quests before which I didn't record, it was just me kind of farming on gathering runs. Because I needed to get something called Isisium or in order to make this new longsword, which I'm going to use to fight Baroth. So I'll go ahead and make it right now. Actually, I can just make it straight off from upgrading this iron katana which I got. And this is Frost Razor. Here's what it looks like. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. And yeah, it took five Isisiums, which took like four runs on, in the gathering for the Tundra quest. And then, of course, iron ores and ice crystals, which are very easy to get. So I'll go ahead and make that and equip it. Now with this I have green sharpness, perfect. It's uh, very useful for cutting through Barot's tough skin. And of course increase attack at 120. And even more, uh, 15 ice uh, damage added. Which always is nice to have. So let's go ahead and take this. I already went to the spa, did the whatnot, whatever. You know, the usual. And where is this Baroth? Ah, uh, Baroth. Here it is. Leading the charge. Cats are ready. I'm ready. And okay, let me give you some background information now. So Baroth was released in Monster Hunter Tri, which was the previous game on the Wii. It is a wyvern, and its special move is kind of just charging at you with this giant crest it has on its head. Or it puts this giant it puts its head facing down and then just charges at you. And the reason is because it has this crust on its head, which looks like it's made of solid wood or something along the lines of that. Some monster, maybe solid bone. Yeah, that would make more sense. Uh, it's kind of a bitch, honestly. Um, it can be very annoying and it has a long tail. So the first thing we're going to want to do when we encounter it is cut off the tail. It should be in area three. Uh, I think, it, yeah, the, this is the first time we're fighting it, so we should get the cutscene in Area 3. You guys will see what it looks like. It's uh, the first, it's, so far it'll be the biggest thing we've ever fought, and probably the most uh, scary looking. It really does look like uh, a dinosaur. If Once you see its arms, it's like a Tyrannosaurus Rex, it's got tiny arms, and just has that general uh, physique and shape. Uh, so... Have we been in the desert before? This is the desert, right? The dunes. Dunes at daytime. Uh, yeah, I think we've been in here before. But if you don't know, um, in areas like 9, 8, and 10, those are the areas that you need to use a cool drink in during the daytime and hot drinks during the nighttime. Here it is. I mean, here's what it looks like. It does this weird thing where it can roll in the ground like that. What it does when it does that is collects mud on the top of its skin which it can proceed to throw at you and get you like this and get you stuck in a mud ball if you get hit by one. When you're stuck, you'll see what happens. I pro I'll probably get stuck at least once during this fight. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and paintball it because it can dig underground, so when it's leaving area, that can be kind of a pain. And it's gonna go straight for the tail. <laughs> Whoops. Do you believe I hit the freaking Bonahabra, whatever you call these things? There it is. Okay, it's gonna pop out here, so I'm not gonna stay anywhere close, as you can see by its head. There we go. Um, it's generally small, actually. I would have expected it to be a little bigger. And yeah, it can roar. When it goes into rage mode, it does roar. And this can freeze you. Anyway, it's uh, not the fastest. It's It can be slow, but it has a lot of attacks that can hit you, and most um, important thing to point out with Baroth is that it can, when it turns around, it doesn't do what most traditional monsters do and turn around uh, in two turns, I guess you could call them. It just does one straight turn and just flips around. And yeah, just trying to get for the tail here, getting some damage in as well. Gonna roll through that. I didn't actually know I could roll through that, I was just taking a camel there. Yes, you can. 
And now right here, you know, I'm not getting these tail opportunities, so I'm just going to go in and try to knock the mud off him. When you get enough hits in, you'll be able to knock the mud off him, and you get a free uh, carve as well. Not a carve, but rather, um, there's an opportunity to, uh, yeah, right there, I got <laughs> mudded. Actually, it's very easy to get out of this by rolling. Snowman, you could call it. <laughs> but, um, and there you go. Doesn't do that much damage anyway. But anyway, yeah, when you knock the mud off, you can, uh, you can gather what's there, and you can get an item. It's pretty cool. Oh, man, I'm not getting these tail opportunities. This fight's gonna be a long fight if I can't take off this tail. And besides, it gives me an extra card, too, so who doesn't like extra cards? There we go. You know, I can also focus, there's two different strategies I could use. I could also focus on hitting his legs. Now what hitting his legs will enable me to do is trip him. Once he trips, everything becomes a lot easier right then. Oh uh, nice, I got a tail, tail shot in there. But yeah, once, once I can trip him, oh, unfortunately I don't even know how that happened. I thought I'd roll through his legs, but yeah, so when he trips, I just keep on hitting his leg over and over. Just get tons of free hits in. Yeah, there we go. This is a free hit. Free opportunity to drink up my meds. Oh god, gotta roll out of that. Oh man, he does that move very fast. Sorry if you can hear my PSP button. Just spamming that. He's giving me an opportunity to heal up here. Perfect. Uh, one of the cats is out, so we should turn to the cat for a little while. Alright, he's rolling in the mud. Now, you can actually get hit by this if you go close to him. Uh, so generally when that happens, we just want to stay at his tail. But now, nice. He's giving me a flinch opportunity. Opportunity to hit his tail. Even further. Just gonna keep rolling out here. He does this thing where he backs up, and then he can just go in uh, for the kill essentially just kind of smack like slam you with the thing with the move he was uh, hitting me with before which does a shitload of damage uh, nice 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 all right nice this is time to get in uh, hits oh my god that was a nice roll it shouldn't be too long now until i can cut this off I can also rely on my felines for doing bomb damage. That always helps with uh, with knocking off the mud. All right, he is in. Yep, the scream got me. He is in rage mode now. If you couldn't tell. Oh my god. All right. Uh, let's see. I you know I'm I don't really want to risk getting hits often because I could easily get KO'd. I'm gonna even uh drink up right here. All right, please start towards one of my felines. Phew. He might have rammed me with the, with the charge. This charge is very fast. And he's in rage mode, as you can see. I feel like the alligator guy right now commenting about this monster's behavior. Oh, I got Yes, all right. Okay, I thought I'd cut off his tail, actually. I just knocked the mud off of it. You know, no diff. Still got a hit in there. Um, you can just see the, the, the sand coming out of the ground so you know what Jerry is going in if you hadn't paintballed him. Just in case you don't catch it, that's the reason I paintballed him. Just to be on the safe side, I don't want to waste time looking for him. And even if like if uh, he loses his stamina, then if I, uh, if I lose him, he'll gain his stamina back. I can't afford that really. You just need to keep on getting hits in. So I would knock him down, just getting in a good tail hits uh, it should cut off soon I've been doing a lot of damage try to get in a nice combo here oh no yeah I knew it was gonna get hit that's what happens when you try to go a little too aggressive when you're using the longsword um, you will uh, you know you will uh, take damage you will get hit so you can't play it you don't want to play it too. You don't want to gamble too much with your luck on uh, where he's gonna go. What is this cat doing here? Okay, I'm kind of waiting for him to charge at me. Come at me, bear off. And 
get in my tail hits. Oh, I gotta sharpen. I'll actually uh, leave Harrier very quickly. Because I need to be more time efficient. Be able to get more hits in, and I can't get hits in if I'm not sharpened. It just keeps bouncing off. I didn't even know how it went through his head on that previous slice. Uh, when I had the yellow sharpness, but now I have green, so I pretty much can go through everything here, as you'll see. Uh, gonna wait for him to charge, gonna wait for that tail swing, and then I go. Yeah, so keep note that that tail swing can hit you. Now he's very low on stamina. This means I get free hits. It doesn't even matter what I'm hitting, I'm just going for everything. Just trying to get up my bar, my bar, and <laughs> yeah, went a little too aggressive. You know, let him hit me. Oh well, you know. There we go. The problem is, he's very, like, right at the edge. Like, I could uh, go to the next area accidentally, which I don't really want to do. Oh, oh god. I'm just owning poor little Baroth here. That tail should have come off right there. His tail is a mad amount. Mad amount of health. And yes, body parts do have health. I don't even know. Wyvern's here. Nice, nice, nice. That's always helpful. There. Oh, are you kidding? His tail did not come off then? Unrealistic. <laughs> She's very realistic. There we go. Finally. Uh, yeah, he. I gotta get him back here. He's right at the end. I'll carve it, the tail, once he leaves. Um. Let me tell my cats to come back here. And yeah, he's leaving area. So, he's gonna go replenish his stamina, but I have to go carve the tail really quickly. And I'll just follow his paintball to where, wherever he decides to go. Wherever his final destination may be. <laughs> Holy shit. Freaking cats. I thought, I thought one of them was throwing the boomerang at the other. I think that was the case, actually. Hilarious couple right there, Bamf and Boss. And yeah, all right. Cool. Cool. He looks so, he looks so stupid without his tail, honestly. Oh God. Is he in rage? Yeah, it looks like it. Seems like it. He's like really mad. At something. Ho <laughs> ho Get owned, Bear Off. And, uh. Alright, okay, alright. Coming right here. Nice, knock some mud off. It sounds really weird when I say that. I knocked some mud off. Yeah. That, oh my god, I did get hit by that. That's unfortunate. At least I haven't used a Mega Potion yet, guys. You can be proud of me. Unlike the last Royal Ludroth run. Who does this thing... What does this thing think he is? Just coming in and just smacking me. Holy crap. Alright, Rental Close. You're cool. I'm gonna roll out of that and... Alright, he's not in rage mode anymore. I can get in my hits. How did that not hit me? I'm lucky. That pretty lucky too. But that hit me. Alright, guys, he is at a limp. GG bear off. Nice, got him three hits at the end. That'd be funny if I killed him as he was Alright, and this thing. You are so dead. You little bitch. <laughs> Freaking Reno boss. Oh. Who's charging now, bitch? Come at me, Rental Gloss. Alright, shit, I think I lost the bear off. I actually have no idea where it went. Uh, just in case, I'll take another one. They're, they're only like 33 zennies each anyway, or 66, or something like that. Some really odd and not even number. He's right here. I'm gonna paint him, but I think he's gonna go to 11 anyway. Yeah, I think 11 is where bear off is. I'm not too sure. Uh, try to trip him. Yep, perfect. 
See, now now that he's tripped, I can just go Rambo, and he's limping too, so, uh, I don't know. I know that he's almost dead, so that I can just do whatever I want, really, with him. Essentially, he's my bitch right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going ham right here. Like, this is insane. Alright, wait. Alright, alright, that's cool. Oh. Area three. Let's see, how long has this commentary been so far? Fifteen minutes, not bad. So much better so much better than the Royal Loot Run. What did I do on that? Like twenty six minutes? <laughs> so much easier to upload short, that's why I always wonder. There we go. GG. You can proceed to dance. <laughs> now nah, I want a carbon. What did I get off the tail? I didn't even check. A ridge, right? And then a shell there. A claw. And. Okay, so Baroth armor. Well, Baroth armor is really good. Um, at least I know the high rank version is. But I'm not gonna get any new armor until four star, which is uh, great baggies, I believe they're yeah, great baggies. But uh, bear hulk armor, I'm actually gonna use to deck out my both fen lines in. I'm gonna get them both bear hulk armor, or maybe I'll get one of them Kurupeko armor and then one of them bear hulk because I think the Kurupeko armor is for healing, but I have to check up on that so they could heal me essentially. And the Baroth armor just looks badass on these little kittens. You'll see once I <laughs> once I can get it. I have to make the scraps though. I probably have to farm a couple more Baroths in order to get them uh, both armor. But you know, let's see if I can. Oh wait, no, no, I should. Yeah, I should get lots of shells here. This is perfect. Fertile mud, nice nutrient rich and great for farming. And then all of these shells I can just convert into scraps and just make my felines uh, a nice he carved the tail. Boss. What a boss. And yeah, just convert that into scraps and get my felines some armor. Anyway, I'm going to cut off this video here. Thanks for watching part 22, and I'll see you in the next one, part 23. Peace.